Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So before starting anything, today's video won't have my face because my DSLR is not working due to some reason. But uh, I thought not to delay this video and uh, just start without my face. So I hope it will be okay for everyone. So in today's video, I am going to start a kind of series. It might be of two, two or three videos where I am going to use a full CG shot rendered from Blender and uh, I will start from scratch right so there are multiple things where I struggled in Blender to render my passes and uh, if you want I will tell you what problem I have faced and how I did my rendering the way I want right so without wasting any time let's get started so as you can see over here, I have two nodes uh, where I'm having same data, but data is not same. If I'm going over here to see view layer data and here I'm having my crypto, my depth, my mist, my normal and UV pass I'm having, right? And in another layer, which is view layer RGBA, where I'm having my ambient occlusion, my diffuse color, diffuse direct, diffuse indirect, and so on and so forth, right? So I'm having two layers. Yeah, there are multiple regions why I have rendered in two layers. I'll discuss it in next video. But uh, today's video will be of how I will rebuild my shader of entire CG shot, right? So first thing first, I want my data to be copied over here because I don't want to use two layers or two inputs. I want my all layers or render passes in in single place. So I'm going to take a node called copy and I'll connect my copy node like this. And in copy, let me put one over here and I will switch off my copy channel individual channels I will switch off and I'm going to connect this with A right also I'll copy layer and I'll copy all layers right so if I'm going to see from this node I'm having all my layers in one place right so you can use something like that also I'm going over here and I'll make sure this is HD 192.0.1.0.0 for now I'm having only single frame but in future or in coming videos i'm trying that it should be a camera moving shot right so i'll go over here and if you are my old subscriber you know how i start compositing so probably i am going to follow same thing like i'm going to use this kind of structure so i'm going to take shuffle node and i'll start rebuilding my shaders so i'll shuffle and before doing anything, I'll go over here and I'll type value in and I'll do this. So there are multiple ways to start compositing. I can start with the flat color passes and uh, with ambient occlusion or I can start with my color passes. So let me let me start with a very different way. I'm going to take diffuse color, right? And also I'm going to control C and control V and let me take ambient occlusion, right? Pretty simple. I'll start with like this if you want you can start with light passes as well it's all up to you so i'm taking different approach i'm not sure what will happen but i'm taking a different approach and ambient occlusion should be on multiply blending mode right also i want to tell you that i haven't used any ocio configuration just i am using my srgb or by default project setting or ocio setting apart from that i'm going to take uh, another shuffle node and i will start reshuffling my light passes in this case i am having my diffuse direct this is my diffuse direct yes this is raw light pass and also i'm going to take another node which is shuffle again and over here i'm going to use diffuse indirect in indirect i can see i am having color but in direct light passes you can see i don't have any kind of color right so i will take a different approach might be i can take a shuffle one more time and also i'm going to take uh, yeah diffuse color and at first i'm going to use multiply with my direct color because my light pass direct light pass don't have any kind of color and after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another merge, which will be my this direct light and indirect light. And I'm going to plus it. Right. So as you can see over here, I'm having a diffused kind of stuff 
if you can see and if you think that diffusion is too much probably i can lower it down and also what i can do if i'm going to plus it everything will be double right so let me check how i can utilize this now if you can see over here i am having very bright information right apart from that you can see i am not having that detail right so yeah that's that's one thing i can take a grade note for now and probably i will lower down my gain and also what i can do i can take another grade node over here in diffuse indirect and i'm going to lower it down a little more as well so now if you can see i'm having almost similar kind of stuff right so the amount of light I'm getting over here and it's coming out pretty nicely, right? So this will be my diffuse setup or light setup. I'm going to take a backdrop node and I'll name it diffuse. Okay, apart from diffuse, I have multiple things over here. So I'm going to take another shuffle and over here, I'm going to take my gloss direct so if you can see my gloss direct is acting like a hard light in the same way i am going over here and i'm going to take another shuffle load and over here i'm going to take my gloss indirect which is again with color might be i'm not going to multiply this thing with color and also I'm going to take another shuffle and this will be my diffuse color, not diffuse, gloss color. So this is my gloss direct. This is my gloss color. Over, in fact, I'm going over here and I'm going to use gloss color over here and gloss indirect over here like this. And I'm going to take another merge and that will be B and that will be A and I'm going to multiply this thing. And if I'm going to multiply, I'm getting my highlights like this. And also what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a merge node and I will add my indirect gloss as well like this. It will be plus. So as I, I can see, my shadows are little open so I can take a grade node and I will lower it down like this. And final, I can take a merge node and this will be added on top of my everything like this. So as you can see over here, I'm getting my highlights and one more thing, uh, I don't think so it will be needed, but uh, if you are having any kind of alpha stuff, you can un pre -melt and pre -melt. It's it's all up to you. But in my case, I don't need that. So now my comp is taking shape again. It's just a start. Okay. And I'll take uh, another backdrop node and I'll name it gloss. Right. So this is my gloss setup. And apart from that, I'll take another shuffle node. So if I want to add some detail over here, I'm having transmission indirect and I'm having few details. So let me check if it's, it's working and if it's adding some detail to my river and I will take this and I'll plus it. And yeah, I'm having a good detail. If I want, I can lower down my opacity. Uh, later on, obvious, I need to change it. And also I'm going to take few more things like I can go over here and I can take another shuffle node and I'm going to use uh, environment. And if you can see, I'm having a good detail over there. And also I can see I don't have any kind of alpha, right? So let me check how I can fix it. So let me take this and probably I will use uh, plus. So yes, I can see I'm having my background and it's all looking good. Later on, definitely I need to fix multiple things. And also I can go over here. I can take another shuffle and I'll go over here and might be I'll use uh, emit. And if you can see, I'm having a good amount of haze kind of stuff. It's not missed, but let me use it and let's check how it's working. Obvious it will work pretty fine let's go and use plus and little hazing you can see it's not crisp it's it's little hazed can you see that and it's working pretty fine to me right so these are the things which i always used to take and uh, also what i can do let me take another shuffle i'll go over here and i will use uh, 
volumetric so in volumetric i am having direct and i am having indirect right so what i am going to do i am going to take direct and i am going to take indirect as well and i'll plus it both like this so volumetric direct and volume indirect and i'll plus it right like this so of course it's looking very bright so this is what we are having and also i'm going to take merge node and i will plus it like this so if we can see now i'm having few things and also i can see i don't have any detail in 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 my cloud so probably i will go over here keep checking where i'm having my detail so if needed i can i can lower it down but, but for now it's all working fine to me and if i'm going to check this so yeah there is a big mismatch in my contrast so obvious we haven't done anything or uh, any contrast or any kind of color grading and also i can see i'm not having good detail over here can you see that this is what i wanted and this is what i have right so let's try to add few more things and later on i will start doing my things right what i can do i can take a shuffle node and in this particular shuffle i am going to shuffle mist pass so if you can see i'm having this kind of effect and let me check if i'm having any kind of alpha no unfortunately i don't have any alpha this is another way to create alpha i'm going to take a shuffle node and in shuffle node i'm going to shuffle my ambient occlusion or alpha if i can see it's it's pretty solid so i think there is a mistake while rendering this thing i'll keep it in mind and here i'm going to take a grade node and in grade node i'm going to gain it up like this and probably i'll create some sort of alpha which will work and if i can see value it's going beyond might be i can take a clamp node right so clamp will clamp any values coming or any values going above one and also i will take this and i will take a copy node and i will copy my red channel to my alpha channel and now if i'm going to check alpha from here i'll have my alpha so this is the way how i managed creating alpha and if needed i can do it any time like i can come over here i'm not having any alpha and i'm going to merge this thing first and if i'm going to merge this if you can see it's coming out pretty nicely but my sky is getting washed out right so i don't want to hurt that so probably i will shuffle alpha and might be i can take a grade node and i will shuffle my alpha so if you can see i am not having any kind of alpha over here and i'll take a grade node and if i'm going to lower down my gain okay but i need inverted result so i'll invert that thing and if you can see i'm having white edges need not to worry i'll take a node called erode and i'll dilate it little and i'll take a edge blur node so this will be my approach if needed i can reduce a little more like this okay and if you can see it's working pretty fine see again i'm not going to deal the, these things it's, it's again it's it's a just a start and probably i will do it in a different way need not to worry right so yeah this is my basic scene structure now what i'm having i'm not having good detail over here so let me figure it out from where i can get those details back right so let me make some space and if you can see over here and in gloss i'm having good detail so might be i can take a gloss node one more time like this gloss indirect and i'll take a merge overall like this and i'll use the crypto and i will pick my this thing after that what i'll do i will take a merge node and i will mask it so once i'm going to mask it only i will have this thing and reflections and if you can see if i'm going to plus it it will have all my detail intact can you see that so now i am having my detail back also i can see there is a lots of contrast missing but need not to worry it's just a start it's a first video and definitely in coming time i am going to improve this a lot so 
this will be my approach while creating render layer setup and i think uh, that's it for today's video because if i'm going to do everything in this particular video video will be like two or three hours longer so uh, again i don't want to bore you definitely the way i used to create videos like in different different sections different different parts definitely I will make more videos regarding this comp and also this is a single image and I'm planning to render full sequence and that will be good for you. So I think that's it for today's video and if you think this video is helping you to understand how to do a basic uh, script setup, please don't forget to like this video, share this video and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.